Hi, here's the problem that I'm having with this Resner. It's a UDAP 45, which means it's the direct vent system. See the venting back there. When this unit goes on and tries to fire, it calls for gas and the gas comes and the spark comes, but it doesn't always light. And it'll cycle through a number of attempts to light it and it will not light. I'll try to reproduce this here by having the thermostat call for heat. So that's the blower fan going on, you can hear it. Sparks will start coming any second. Gas is on. Sparks are going. You can hear the sparks. Down there it lit. But typically it would it would not light all the time. And uh, I found that if I took the side vent, the side panel off right here, and let it run, it would run a lot better. And it wouldn't do that as often. So this video is just about, uh, I talked to Resner today, and they gave me a modification that I should do uh, to fix this issue. All right, so this is the inside with that panel, the right side panel off of the Resner. Gas comes in here. It's like three... I think uh, it wants 14, uh, 5 to 14 inches of water column pressure gas here. Regulator comes out at 3.5 pounds of pressure. Gas nozzle, Venturi combustion box. Heat exchanger behind there where the, there's a fan that blows air over it. And the whole uh, combustion system is uh, pushed out by this direct vent system. So this pulls air through the entire unit and pushes it outside. The, this is the igniter and I have pulled it out from, you can see it, but it goes into the ignition box back there. So the gentleman I talked to a Resner said that what's happening here and he's seen it happen before is uh, on some units depending on how they're vented um, the gas flow that actually starts here at the nozzle goes through the Venturi there's essentially a flame of gas air and the bottom line is this sparker is missing the envelope of that stream of gas air. So he said the simple thing to do is to take the grounded part of this igniter, which would be the top piece. You can see it's grounded back to the base of the cabinet. And I've already confirmed there's a good spark on this when it's grounded, so grounding is not an issue with the entire unit. But take this and bend it uh, 16th to an eighth of an inch th that way towards the heat exchangers and see if that puts it into the envelope of the gas that gets blown via this Venturi. We'll see. All right, so I just took this thing and bent the top rod. It's gonna go in like this, so I don't know if you can see, but they used to be straight up and down, but now the bottom rod is bent probably about an eighth of an inch towards the burner, so away from the camera here. It's gonna get installed like this. So that will move the spark, which still has the same gap tolerance as before, which is one eighth of an inch. I just measured it. Um, that'll move the spark out, uh, hopefully into the uh, 
gas mixture envelope. All right, now it's been fixed. Let's see if it works. Here the first fan is on. Firing. And it's lit. And this is about the tenth time I've tried it. I know that it's working and uh, it fires now consistently after about four seconds when the gas is turned on and it's clicking with the uh, igniter going. So I think or I hope it's good to go. Uh, the only note is actually I showed on this video that it turned that I bent the igniter away from me and it turned out that that made the problem uh, very much worse and it didn't ever ignite so I thought I was on to something because that's a pretty interesting result uh, and then I went the other way so I brought it about an eighth of an inch towards me uh, and it lights every single time so the bottom line is the placement of that thing is very very sensitive and uh, I've also tried a lot of other things with this to get here for example, I tried all sorts of venting configurations from no vent to full vent, full sealed vent. In other words, I disconnected the back to see if the venting was the problem and that wasn't the problem. Um, anyway, uh, if you have this problem, uh, it might be something to try.